Hi, darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Geminis, and I'll be using my angel tarot cards. And to clarify, I'll be using my guardian angel messages tarot. So let's see what messages we have for you. So Gemini, the Ten of Air, it's the end of a difficult situation not too long ago. You need to embrace the change. The Six of Air, things are looking up. The end of difficult situation. Oh my, this is for sure then, huh? Things are looking up and you might be taking a trip. Then we got the Two of Fire. You have come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Things continue to move forward. The two of earth, too much going on at once. You need to make a decision. Consider a more playful approach. Release. It's the end of a phase or situation. It's time to move on. The two of water, a relationship that continues to grow closer. And there's forgiveness in the air. And there's a positive resolution to a conflict. Okay. The Awakening cards look at things from a different perspective. You're temporary standstill, okay? You don't know which way to go. The Awakening card. Then you have the Ten of Fire. You have a lot going on. You got a lot on your plate. And you need to ask for help, okay? Or you need to stop for a moment and see if you can do it in a... I get it done in another way, okay? It also says life is out of balance. So take a moment for yourself and figure things out because if not, it says stress-related um, health concerns, okay? You don't want that. You know, stress isn't good for the body. You got the Ten of Fire. You got the Five of Earth. You got fear surrounding money. Maybe that's why you're doing so much right now, you know? That feeling is temporary. All right, remember not too long ago, things were looking up. It was the end of a difficult situation. Come on now. You know you can handle this. You know you can. Right, Gemini? Come on now. You got this. Okay, so let's see. The Ten of Air. On top of the Ten of Air, we have the Page of Air. Uh, you told the truth. You spoke up. That's why things started changing. That's why it was the end of a difficult situation. You found your voice. You were working on that throat, huh? The throat chakra, that is. So you got the um, page of air. You got the page of water. And you got the eight of fire. You're very sensitive and also very intuitive. And you need to start using your intuition, okay? Because you do have that gift. And the eight of fire. Something is coming with speed. You got the page of air, the page of water, and you got the eight of fire. Then you got the six of air. Things starting to look up. Things were looking up back there too. The nine of fire, the three of air, and the seven of fire. You're very resilient, okay? I want you to always remember that. That no matter how many times you've stumbled, how many times you've fallen down, you have gotten back up. Right, so even if something happens again, you know you're going to get back up and you're not going to stay in that dumb feeling or that lack mindset, okay? So whatever happened here is going to change. So you got the nine of earth, you got the three of air. There's some kind of sadness around you here, maybe a broken heart. You got the seven of fire, but you're above your challenges and you're very determined and resistant. You're brave, huh? You don't show people that hurt. Be acting so tough. The nine of fire, the three of air, and the seven of fire. On top of the six of air. Yeah. 
And then you got the two of fire. On top of the two of fire, you got the queen of fire. Now, this could be an energy in your environment. This could be a Leo, a Sagittarius, a Leo, a Sagittarius, or Aries. Or it could be that you've just very determined. You found your confidence and you, you're just heading that way. You know what I mean? You've come into your own. These are but new partnerships. You're doing some um, self-discovery. You're probably doing some meditation, finding yourself. Because that's the person to trust is you. Okay, you got the six of air. There's relief. <laughs> Things are getting better, okay? Things are calming down. You got the queen of fire, the hermit, and you got the six of air. Things are calming down. Then you got the two of earth. The two of earth. On top of the two of earth, you have the queen of air, which would be you, Gemini. You got the ten of fire, and you got the six of water. Now, <clears throat> The ten of um, fire is about being overworked and being stressed out, okay? You don't want to feel stressed because it's going to throw your whole balance off. So you need to take a step back. Um, you may be having a lot on your plate. You need to ask for some help, okay? And the six of water, you're thinking about the past. Why, why are you thinking about the past? What happened in the past? You got the queen of water, you got the ten of fire, and you got the six of water. Then the release card. The end of a phaser situation. You got the justice card. There was fair fairness all across the board. You did the right thing. The nine of water. Your wishes came true. And the two of fire. And some kind of partnership was formed. You got the justice card. The nine of water. And the two of fire. And you got the two of water here. This, this partnership moving to a different level. It's growing closer. Um, you got the five of water. You're kind of disappointed. But... And you have some regrets, but you might need to forgive, okay? You got the dreamer here. There's a new beginning here for you. And the eight of water, you're searching. You're going to feel fulfilled soon. Don't you worry. The five of water, the dreamer, which is a new beginning, and the eight of water. Okay? A little disappointed. That's fine. Part of life, right? Now that made you feel like a stand. You were to stand still. You got the eight of earth. You got the seven of air, and you got the two of earth. Um, you're very organized, and you're working on something. You're very passionate about whatever it is that you're working on here. You got the seven of air. You need to be cautious. Be on the alert. Okay, there might be some kind of betrayal in your environment here. Somebody backstabbing or something to that effect. The two of earth. Um, you need to balance. Okay, baby, you need to you need to find a balance here. Um, do it with playfulness. All right, bring some playfulness into it. You probably need some of that. So you got the Knight of Earth, you got the Seven of Air, and you got the Two of Earth. And that could mean that you're stretching resources too. You know, you're feeling a little off balance financially. Maybe that's where the Five of um, <laughs> Earth is coming from. But that feeling is temporary. It doesn't last long. Don't worry about money. Seriously, that's it's nothing to worry about. Just con be aware, be concerned about your mission and where you're going, okay? Do the right thing. Do it with your heart. Do it with good intent. You got the chariot here. This is a lot of, um. You, you're going to overcome this hard work, whatever it is on your plate here. Um. You got the chariot. Something is coming fast. This is the king of air here. You're probably very um, knowledgeable, objective, and respected in, in your field or in your environment. And you got the ace of air here. You're going to have mental clarity or new communication. You got the chariot, the king of air, and the ace of air. So you're going to have some, something coming. Now, the king of air could be you as well, or it could be another energy, a Libra or an Aquarius. On top of the five of earth, you got the balance card. You got the five of earth, and you got the page of earth. Okay, balance, you're going to need to compromise. You got to find a balance, okay? You got to balance these two. And whatever situation is going on in your environment, you got to balance it. Okay, find a balance because you got the mindset of lack and you're worrying. And then you got the page of earth. Um, you, you're prepared for something. I don't know. You might be receiving some kind of messages. You have the balance card, the five of earth, and the page of earth. And then you got the six of fire. Told you that feeling is temporary. Told you it's temporary. At the six of fire, this is about success, okay? Sometimes when we start things, it does seem like it's taking a little while. It does seem like you have lack. Look at all what, of what you do have, okay? Pay attention to that. Do things with love. I love you guys. You take care of yourselves, and we will chat soon.